Hey Lennies, welcome back. So many of you have requested for so long for me to do a daily rabbit routine and it's been a really long time since I've done one of these. So this is gonna be sort of an updated 2020 version if you will. And I'll be chronicling pretty much everything that I do from morning till night, which will also include some elements of my own life and my occupation as a YouTuber, because let's face it, that is part of the daily routine and also I'm trying to drag this video out to at least 10 minutes because you know I gotta pay the bills too guys anyway let's get started so I normally wake up around 9 ish and the first thing I do is check my phone for any missed calls or texts I might check my email and then check the gram of course I really try to read everyone's comments and DMs, and I really apologize that I'm unable to reply to everyone. At this point in time, it's really hard to do that, but I do try to read it all. And then, of course, I have some mandatory snuggle time with Lennon. It's a really nice way to start my day. Lennon will then follow me to the fridge because she knows it's breakfast time. Look how cute she is. She's so adorable. And she basically gets a large handful of organic boxed baby spring mix. I add in a tablespoon of high fiber Timothy pellets from Small Pet Select, which I will link these down below in the description. Then I get my own breakfast ready and that can consist of many different things depending on how I feel. But what I do take very seriously is my matcha powder beverage, which I have every morning. I don't do coffee, I don't do any of that. This is my thing and I've got my little bamboo whisk and bamboo scoop. This was a nice little habit that I picked up after staying in Japan last year. So then I head over to the litter box and if the litter box has recently been cleaned, I just kind of refill the hay, but if it's getting a little stinky, and usually this occurs every two to three days, I clean it out, replace the liner, wipe it down, and replenish the hay. As you can see, Lennon likes to hang out while I do this and supervise me and make sure I'm not gonna ruin anything. <laughs> During this time, I take advantage to just clean around the litter box as well because if the litter box is dirty, that means the surrounding area is probably dirty. So I sweep things up, I might vacuum, I might mop if I have to. And then Lennon just kind of does her thing in the litter box for like a good 20 to 30 minutes. You know, she's like digesting her breakfast and she goes through this what I like to call food coma after she's in the litter box and had a ton of hay. She just flops onto her belly on various different surfaces and just kind of becomes a very lazy rabbit, which is really cute. So this is the time period where I just mess around on the internet. I'm not doing any serious work. Like I'll watch YouTube videos, check out the news, and full disclosure, I spend a little too much time on Quora. Like, I ask all my life questions on there because apparently I can't make my own decisions and I need strangers to tell me what to do. So basically all of this kind of helps wake my brain up because I'm not a morning person at all. And I know you guys are probably like, oh, does this girl have a purpose in life? Like, what does she actually do? But I'm getting to that part, I swear. So around midday, Lennon gets a little treat and then she goes off into the abyss of the apartment and just plays with her toys, choose her favorite cardboard box while I go off and get ready for the day, take a shower, etc. And this is basically Lennon just being cute in her mischief. For those of you who are new to our channel, Lennon is 100% free roam in my apartment. She does not have a cage or any type of enclosure. I've made quite a few videos on how to transition to free roaming. If that's something you're interested in, it's something I definitely recommend doing. 
So I make it a point to get ready for the day, even if I'm not going anywhere, get out of my pajamas, get dressed, do my hair and makeup. And I think a lot of people who work from home will agree with me that this is what you have to do to stay somewhat sane. And especially if I'm filming a video that day, I have to get camera ready anyway. There is just something about changing into pants or jeans that makes me feel more productive. I don't know, that's just me. So in this process, I also like to make my bed, open up my curtains, let the light in. And this is where I can really start my day. I know it's a late start for most people, but whatever. I head over to my whiteboard. I have quite the long list of videos I need to make, so I kind of figure out what I need to prioritize, and then I get to work. Usually that consists of editing or answering emails, and Lennon will keep me company. She'll sit on my lap during this time, which is really nice. Sometimes the editing can go on for hours upon hours, so I do have to try to take some breaks in between, work on other things. I might cook, I might clean the house, brush linen, or work with her in some capacity on a photo shoot or some kind of paid assignment. Yes, ladies and gents, I always tell her you've got to pull your weight around here too and help pay the bills, so she totally gets it. I basically try to take advantage of her awake time to do the things that I need to do with her. And then at around 2 p.m., she kind of retires for the day and hides out under the bed, under the couch, and I don't see or hear from her for like seven hours. So this is like when she goes to sleep. And during this time frame, I basically continue working, editing, and then taking little breaks where I play the piano, I water my plants, I paint, anything to kind of get out of my chair, because again, I will go crazy if I just sit in it all day. Occasionally, I will have to travel to a different location to film a video, and an event like this will usually take up my entire day. In this case, sometimes I might hire a cameraman. Now, on days when I'm not working, because yes, I do give myself some days off, and this tends to happen right after I've uploaded a video and I can kind of take a breather. I'll go out for the day, run errands, go shopping, visit a friend. I like to walk a lot, so I make it a point to walk maybe three to four miles if I can. As a musician, I might also visit the recording studio and work on some songs with my producer. Sometimes I will take Lennon with me on an outing and you guys have seen plenty of those videos where I've chronicled this. We don't go out often, but when we do, I always make sure that she's safe and that we're visiting pet-friendly environments. So around seven, Lennon gets her dinner, which is again, a handful of spring mix. And then usually I've either cooked or eaten out by this time as well. So if I'm filming a video that I'm being featured in, I usually do that at nighttime, just because that's when I have best control of the lighting. Whereas during the day, I'm usually at the mercy of the sun. Also, I'm a bit of a night owl in case you haven't noticed already. Now, I don't own a TV, it's just something I'm not interested in, but I have a really cool projector. If I'm not shooting a video, I like to cuddle up with Lennon, watch a good movie or YouTube video. No, I don't watch myself for fun, but for the sake of this video, I'm totally plugging our channel. So right before I go to bed, Lennon gets her third meal of the day, which is more of like a midnight snack. And I just make sure that her water is filled to the brim. I make sure that she has enough hay to last her through the night. And I make sure she has enough toys laying out to be stimulated with. She'll get one last treat from the treat jar. And then I take her to her bed and we say our good nights. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of the daily rabbit routine and life as a YouTuber. I know it was quite detailed, so thanks for sticking around. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll see you all soon. Bye!